everyone. Uh, this is going to be my official telling of the kit I'm going to be entering in the DJ Scratchy Chevy Cheeseburger stock box stock build. And I'm going to try to, uh, well, let me just show the kit. I'm going to build the gasser, the Malco Ohio George gasser. Um, arguably one of the best um, gasser kits that was ever put out. Um, it's right up there, at least one of them. Um, shouldn't require too much um, fiddling, you know. Should be a fairly straightforward build. Uh, I'm just going to go through real quick to show some stuff, some ideas that I've, and show the kit a little bit and and my plan on it. Obviously, it's going to be stock, but you know how I plan to go about it. So let me move the camera in and I'll show show a little of that. Uh, it, I did take the plastic off. Couldn't I can't help it when I buy these the kits. I have to rip the plastic off like a child on Christmas morning and just just smell it. Um, but everything's still in the bags. Uh, it's molded in color. <clears throat> So, you know, there's a possibility I may just try to buff out the, the, the body or clear coat it or something. Otherwise, I've got to find the, the color because I'm going to build it as the actual kit. So it's, a, you know, too true to the actual kit. <clears throat> so that's one thing I have to figure out before Saturday. Um, it's got a very nicely detailed engine. Uh, not, not a ton of parts, which is good because I build, I'm like freaking slow, very slow builder. And it's got an AMT sticker. There's uh, some nice tires in here, pad printed, very nice. Um, got a lot of chrome. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of chrome on the actual car. Um, it's especially the engine. There's hardly any chrome whatsoever on the engine in reality. So I may, you know, well I probably will be stripping some stuff and painting it instead. But I think that stay, stays within the guidelines of basically just painting it. But you got to strip chrome before you can paint it. So, um, yeah. but to stay stay true to the guidelines. Um, and it's a very nice engine. Very nice. In fact, the the valve covers are black. So I mean, I got at least least do something there. Uh, the glass, um, I had read in one of the magazines, this glass goes all, it's just one piece going all the way around. And, you know, it goes up in there. And I had read that this is a very bad fit in one of the magazines. I was reading a review about this kit and they suggested cutting clear plastic and just putting in separate pieces and all that. But being that this is a box stock build, I can't do that. So. That's my only worry about this kit is that this, for some reason, this doesn't fit right. But after all, it's just, it's not a contest, but I'm, I'm definitely keeping it box stock. So, <clears throat> that's pretty well the kit. Um, it's got a, you know, some, some decals, instructions, obviously. And the bonus is it's got a very nice book. And it shows all the details about the car. As you can see, the engine, there's very little actual chrome. And there's some polished aluminum and stuff on it. But, um, there's a better picture of the engine there, so, you know, and obviously there's not going to be any wiring, but um, it does show some, it's going to help out, and then it's got that single wheelie bar in the back, <clears throat> or excuse me, wheel, you know, it's just that one wheel that sticks down, that's pretty cool, uh, but a great, uh, just a great little uh, reference inside here to go by, as far as painting and, and seats and stuff like that, so it should be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> this is the actual car that they brought to AMT and that AMT put that tape and stuff on there to measure to make this model. So the model is very accurate, um, which is really cool. So I'm, I'm really interested in building this. <clears throat> and I planned it, and my plan was to build it box stock anyway, but I was going to add a lot of wiring and detail to it if I built it with, you know, but being that this is box stock, I'm just going to go with it as it is. So there you go. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully I can get it done. Um, um, and uh, of course I work Saturday. Um, uh, but what I plan to do is Saturday morning before I go to work, I'm going to throw some st this chrome in the bleach 
So by Saturday evening when I get home, I can be doing some cut start cutting parts and filing and doing things. I'm getting ready. Uh, Saturday, Sunday is also a bus. I did have plans to go visit someone and uh, I ended up having some, having some company come to visit Sunday. So that might probably take up part of the day there too. So I'm going to get off to a bit of a slow start and I'll just have to work in the evenings when I get home. But it should go pretty quick if I stay on it and plan for it. So looking forward to it, and uh, I have to agree with everyone else, I mean box stock, you can build a very nice model box stock. If I look back at all my models, I'd say the majority of them are box stock, believe it or not. Um, and they, they, they look great, uh, you know. Aside from maybe a little bit of wiring and things I've done on some models, most of mine are box stock. Uh, or maybe a little bit of suspension adjustments and stuff like that. So I'm no stranger to box stock, that's for sure. Uh, but I look forward to the contest and having fun, and, and that's what it's all about. And uh, as Chevy Cheeseburger was saying, uh, you know, I've, I've been I, I've been kind of in a rut. Not really in a rut. I just haven't had much time. I've been away from the bench for quite a while. And it's good to just kind of get a do a box stock build, get the juices flowing, get the get things going, get the bench functioning and all the dust blown off of it before I jump back into some other stuff, which I have done. Uh, I've got a video that's going to be coming up here just to, probably after right after I upload this one. That's going to show an update on my Roadrunner. But anyway, uh, looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.